On a Tuesday. On a God, Tuesday this is the night. Stuff I live for. Oh man, the call says it's cool, but then there's I got point I fighter. Try fighters. Oh hey, I don't think we've uh, played this game outside of Capture the Flight before. Now I kind of wish uh, we had access to the audio files so we can make our own custom like sound effects. Yeah. Wow, that's a bit of a latency. It took me like almost Ow. a whole second to get that uh, thingy. The salvage. Uh, is that a... Yes it is. It's a Come here. Come here, Mr. Bogos Vinted. You're about to get your Bogos Vinted. He ran away. Whatever your shit spot. What? Did... Oh, did I miss it? Yes, I did. Come here. Ah, Heckerel. There you are. Oh, I got knocked down. No. <laughs> oh, there you that are. Was... My Such greatest a fear has been realized. Like Ow! <laughs> Alright, I'll handle this. Infidel. Oh shoot. Oh god! Uh -huh, Danger close. Sorry. Wait, they talk. I'm not really playing. Wait, did the kid box grab the health? Oh god, they did. Yeah, I did. To be fair, it's kind of my responsibility to, you know, light him up, light him up. carry the team as a Hellbringer. Oh. Okay, I'm starting to. Ah, no, you killed yeah, me! If, yeah, if you oh, guys, no. like, ever want ask questions the narrative director is extremely responsive on twitter okay can we ask him to play mecha salt with us uh <laughs> that makes you wonder probably they don't respond to it they they if you if you ask if you ask any of them about mecha salt they won't respond to you Damn. all right kill them all they're just staying on topic. That's that's they're like textbook Ooh. almost. And I gotta, I do have to give it to PGI for actually keeping the series alive. So. Oh yeah, they're pretty much the only. Alive. I mean, the they belong to uh, Fossa Interactive, right? Yeah, but Fossa's no no longer. Fossa's around. defunct. Want, well, you did, to be honest, gaming. when when Smith and Tinker split from developing the original Mech 5 with PGI, PGI could have easily just not done it, never got a license, and Mech Warrior would have been dead for another 20 years, probably. <laughs> or just never lived again. But, I mean, they got freaking it built with <laughs> Unreal Engine. And it's pretty impressive for what they did put there. I mean, their team is tiny. If you look at PGI's team, it's We're freaking tricky. tiny. Hmm. Can't say I'm too happy that MechWarrior Online exists. Like, but... PGI's team is a professional version of Wolf's team. I think that PGI I'm has like has like 40 active developers. I'm pretty sure That's any it. team is a professional version of Wolves, because Wolves is just one guy. No. Oh my god. There's... But oh god. yeah, PGI at a time has like 40 active developers that actually like are hired full time. That's there's awesome. other there's other developers involved, but Wow, that's more than us. I actually did. I, w I was in a call with Pajama Boy the other night. It's pretty cool. Probably take out this the mad dog. I don't know. I'm always going to have some sort of resentment towards PGI for becoming what they did. Since, you know, no MA. But I can, I can tell you, and you probably suspected this already, but don't expect wolves to be like. Relating to Mech Assault in too big of a way. That's fine. Yeah, I know. As long as you retain some of the DNA I, of Mech Assault, I won't be that mad. Because I'm trying to, like, get that into the community that this is not, like, supposed to be based off of Mech Assault too much in depth. It's, Wolves is more of a freaking, like, training program, basically, for people that just are in the process of learning how to code and texture and design. Die. Yeah, I don't really give a piss as long as I have rebounds. 
and like they're both of their music composers have like full-time jobs so they're all they're doing it is on the side right. no i respect that and freaking like uh let me see it here yeah i don't even think no yeah, oh, only one humanity. out of two of them are actually involved in Wolves anymore. I think it was Jaunty that is no longer with Wolves. Oh, behind you, YouTube. Elijah oh, no, is the no, only wait, one. Wait, wait, who? Jaunty yeah. is no longer with Wolves. Oh. He's he's still like in the Discord, but he's mean? got a he's got a full time job now. So. On the burner. Yeah. We're not gonna see wolves in our lifetime. Pretty sure. There you will. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll have we'll mechs emulated wolves. way before wolves becomes a. Uh, we'll see wolves. No, we're, we're pajama now. boy and I have both tried to bring forth wolves to Microsoft. That's kind of what the plan is. Because so keep doing we're that. we're looking at the current state of it and oh, like for long that, for long term and like to take pressure off of some of the guys. Um, oh, he's shit. really just been working towards getting a license from oh my Microsoft. Gosh. That is. Insane. And I'm hoping when if Clans is successful, that. Maybe something will happen. <laughs> I am getting oh, aggressively sure sugar-coated. Nothing will be happy with. Well, Phil Spencer just commented on Mech Assault again. Literally well, within as usual. Within like two weeks. Yeah. I, well, I know, but you also look, have to look at it from his standpoint, where there's so much going on at Microsoft right now that. They're not going to just look at Microsoft and be like, oh, we can make some money off of this. They're like... They won't. They're in the middle of so they're much shit at Microsoft. It's freaking it's chaos. chaos. Yeah. And everybody's like after Microsoft right now, too, so... Well, I mean, I hope they keep going after Microsoft. I don't respect them in any way whatsoever. Uh, I mean, I think Xbox is just trying to get control of the market again, like when the 360 was out. They're not gonna have Bro, that control anymore. That was a mistake. No. Because because when the the dude who got fired from Microsoft, I need uh, else, I need who else. was in charge of the Xbox One, like it totally took like if you've looked at the making of Xbox, the six part series on YouTube, if you look at what it took them to like make the Xbox brand up to the 360, it was fucking nuts. The work that people did, and then some dude turns around and just ruins the Xbox brand with the Xbox One. And so there's a period from like 2014 to uh, whenever the next, like the, the the 4K model of the Xbox One came out, where like no exclusives, Xbox brand was ruined, PS4 was way blow. ahead, PS4 had exclusives. And so after that, like in between now and COVID, Microsoft was kind of like rebranding basically to try to get the freaking market back into their hands. And that's why they're doing all this shit. It's never gonna happen. Ah, the Phil Spencer is pretty capable of it. They're not gonna have the power anymore. He's also capable they got Bethesda and Obsidian for fuck's sakes. I mean. They got the Forza developers now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of that means that it Now, obviously, I, I honestly think that Microsoft should freaking totally sell off 343 and forget about them 100%. Yeah, Halo, Halo, Halo's been Halo on the fucking G Halo, they I don't, to be over. honest, I want Halo, like, to just totally be ran by a different developer and if it takes like six or eight years to come up with a new game that's not a mainline i'm totally fucking fine with it because i'm so sick of 343 it's not even fucking funny
Like they just constantly. They, 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 they literally He's when there. Infinite came out, there were no original developers on three four three besides like a few of the executives. And even a dude that was there for 14 years freaking left. And the same with like five. When five came out, there were no Halo 4 developers with 343. It was just insane. And now we have them making like fucking samurai maps and armor and stuff. It's like, what are you even doing? Samurai, the samurai I maps are know. forge maps. I, I really to be, get. To be fair, the samurai thing was there in Halo 3. Like the sword. Oh, it was. Well, I'm not that saying was, it's. I'm not. Yeah, that was just. just it's not applicable so. because they're, so, they're being like respawn with Apex. They're not fixing half the stuff or revamping stuff. They're just adding stuff that will cost real money. Like, yeah. I go into the store, and I'm going to buy a charm and a preloaded armor skin for 20 fucking dollars. Oh, and I'm I like, dude, excited. I could, oh, never, I never could buy a that. DLC for $20 in another game for what you're selling in your store. You're treating the game like it's a live service game. Well, that is what we need is, to just stop supporting be. all live I, service I don't games. Ag- we need to make sure that companies do not get Who's away. We? Well, I don't. I don't I, 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 no, you know, you know who it is. It's all these freaking kids that were born from like after the economy crashed in the United States to now. It's like the fourteen and sixteen year olds that. They're part of that generation where they use their fucking mom and dad's credit card to buy live service games. You yeah. can't blame <laughs> it all on them, though. Who is, who, it, who's it responsible is. for making the games what they are? Well, to be fair, the, like, the reason why those microtransactions exist is because, unfortunately, it's what's breaking in the dough. 